We're all set up on our zero. We floated our turret back to zero now. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set your EK2 stop correctly. So we're already lined up on zero. I want you guys to take your turret and dial down three tenths. So it's only three clicks, all right guys? Two, three, bang. So we're down three tenths. And go ahead, take your lock ring, pull up on that bad dog, locking out your turret. So I want you, if you have a screwdriver handy, or you know if you have a piece of brass that'll fit inside the hole, that'll work great. I want you to go ahead and take your screwdriver, put it in the desired slot here, and I want you to turn it clockwise until it goes firm. We don't need to crank the snot out of it, we just want it to go firm, and then our EK2 stop will be set. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna turn him slightly, he's going, and there, he's solid. I don't need to crank it anymore, that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock our turret, and we're still on three tenths down. So to test it, make sure our EK2 stop is set correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and dial up, we'll say 10 mils. And we'll come back down afterwards to make sure that our desired EK2 stop is set where we want. So we're gonna dial down now, and should stop three tenths below zero. Bam, just like that guys. Our EK2 stop is set. All right guys, here's a little bit more troubleshooting. If you're still having problems, just kind of set that EK2 stop. So you'll see in our instruction manual, we're trying to show you how to fine tune your EK2 stop. So if you're having problems with it, I want you to take your screwdriver or your supplied brass, and what you're gonna do is to increase it farther away from zero. If, say, it's stopping too close to zero for you and you want to move it farther, a simple explanation is gonna be you turn it counterclockwise, and that's gonna allow you to turn it farther away from zero. Now, vice versa, if we wanted to move our stop closer to zero, all we have to do is turn our stop clockwise. Again, hitting that wall of where we want it to be at. So that's as easy as I can explain it, guys. Turning it clockwise is gonna move it closer towards that zero. Moving it counterclockwise is gonna allow you to move it farther away from that zero.